Welcome back to the uh, Irish 100 guys. Hope you're all doing good. Uh, we are on number two today. I'm taking on Sleeve Comeda. Um, and in the book, it, the suggested route for it is from Mealmore up to Sleeve Naglock, across the Sleeve Cora, up to Comeda, down to the saddle with Donard, and around the brandy pad and back down. So I've got a few hours spare today. The weather's looking glorious, so decided to come out, tick off another one. Two in one week, happy days. Uh, and I've got my mate Sam joining me today. Uh, you might remember Sam some, for some previous videos, climbing and stuff. And out at Critch, where he jumped in the sea in his boxers. Maybe you don't want to remember that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's head on up. Whenever I was out on Sunday with Lindsay doing Burna, the mist that you've seen was terrible. So I might try and get some extra shots of Burna today because we're walking past it. And then you'll be able to see it in all its beauty. So it's still in the clouds at the minute, but hopefully that burns off by the time we get up to the top here. Sleeve Burna still sat in the clouds, but you can just about see the top of Mealmore coming out now. If you remember, I was saying that we were going to do Burna, Mealmore, Mealbeg. Well, that's Mealmore that we, we didn't do. We bailed off it because of the, the mist and poor conditions. So it's one to come back to, definitely. Um, but we are heading, following this track here, up to Nicolock and hopefully all this mist will lift and we'll be able to see down into Ben Crom Reservoir um, and hopefully get a nice picture of Steve Burna and follow the wall on along to Cora and should be able to see down the other side into Newcastle. So if you're ever up here and you're looking at these big granite blocks and you see like these um, channels, if you like, in the, the rock, I'm wondering what they are. Uh, basically, it's where they used to, to split the granite uh, from the quarries uh, for making the wall and paths and stuff. And what they would do, uh, it's called feather and plug, plug and feather. Sam, Sam's the, the history teacher here with me today. Plug and feather. So they would wedge two bits of metal down stick a pin down through the middle and hammer it until they split. Isn't that right, Sam? Yep. Yep. Absolutely. <laughs> So we've just come over the stile, um, coming up to the Glock. The Glock's just up here in the cloud. Um, and if you just over the stile and down a wee bit, it, like directly in front of you, there's a thing called Diamond Rocks. Uh, we're just gonna have a wee look for it. But uh, supposedly it's big lumps of quartz in the, the granite. So hopefully we can see some of that, It'll be quite interesting. Yeah, no diamonds. Somebody must have had all the, the diamonds before we arrived, because there's none there. Uh, unless we were just looking in the wrong place, but it's marked on the map as Diamond Rocks, and if you're ever up this way, go check it out and see if you can see any. So we're back on track, back over at the wall, 
heading up in the Glock, but I'm hoping that this does lift. The Morn Wall was constructed between 1904 and 1922. It is 22 miles long and connects the summits of 15 mountains. It stands up to 8 feet high and measures on average 3 feet wide. The wall was made to form a catchment area in the Morns for Silent Valley Reservoir and its main purpose was to keep livestock out of the water sources. There we go. At the top. Sleeve Naglock, done. It's not part of the, the 100, but it's just nice to get another mountain done, isn't it? Here we go. Just about to come on to the, the summit of Comet and I. So if you follow the wall up to the style of the wee house uh, and think that's the summit, you're wrong. You have to walk out across the plateau for a good 100 meters really uh, and then you come to a wee cairn and that is the true summit of Comeda. So yes, if you're taking Comeda off, walk the extra wee bit just out uh, and you'll see the cairn and that is the summit done. There we go, summit number two done, sleeve comedy. Let's go get some shelter and grab some lunch, eh? Yep. In the wee house at the top of comedy, just to, to grab a bit of lunch and that. Um, yeah, I think we're going to get out of here on the other side of the wall and walk down to the saddle to Donard uh, and try and shelter from the wind as much as possible. Lunch done. Let's get down to the saddle to, to Donard, hopefully below this cloud level and it'll start to open up a wee bit and you'll see down into the Analong Valley. If you remember from the older video there a few weeks ago that I stuck up with Kev, uh, that's that valley and then we'll walk across into uh, Silent Valley, you'll be able to look down into that, up over Hare's Gap again and down into Meanmore. So, just down off Comedy and up there is Donard. Now, I'm going to save Donard for another day uh, and the reason for it, whenever you're following the, the book, it gives you um, suggested routes to follow and I'm going to try and stick to them as best as possible. Um, yeah, I could go on up there and get Donard done and another might not take off today, but the route that they suggest for doing Donard actually looks really nice um, to come up the bloody bridge um, and d go do Rocky Mountain uh, and a few others out that way. Uh, yes, I've done them as well, but like, yeah, I'm going to stick to the, the guide as much as possible. On some stuff like whenever we're down south uh, in Wicklow and Kerry and there's loads of mountains that I can pin together because of the distance travelled then I'm going to do that on the, them big uh, them big journeys but here in the mornings it's nice just to come out and take one uh, one or two off at a time rather than blasting out a load of them uh, and then I've got stuff to come back and, and do when the weather is shocking and I can't travel anywhere. Down in here is Analong Valley. Uh, you can just, I don't know if you can see it, but you can just about make the, the river out going down through it. And right here uh, in front of us would be uh, Beg with the Devil's Coach Road going up it. Um, and we're going to follow the trail on round over this saddle uh, and drop down into Silent Valley. Um, it is a real shame that these clouds didn't lift as forecasted. It was supposed to be good visibility today uh, and it would have been cracking to get some really nice shots and some stuff for the Burnet episode. 
um, which you'll have already watched by now, but hey ho, part of it, isn't it? That's part of mountaineering in Ireland. You have to take your opportunity when you see it. We are just walking along the Brandy Pad now, um, from the back of Donard um, over to Meadmore. Um, uh, basically, this gets the, the name the Brandy Pad um, because people used to smuggle brandy um, from the coast down at Bloody Bridge, up the Bloody Bridge, across the Brandy Pad, and down in the, the hill town. Um, there's a lot of spices and stuff like that that used to get smuggled through as well. Um, but yeah, that's why it gets the name the Brandy Pad. There's an interesting story about Bloody Bridge, but I'll save that one for you for when we're uh, over that side of the, the mountains doing Rocky and Donard. There we go, Silent Valley just starting to do open up now around the corner. absolutely stunning out here in the, the autumn. I know it's a bit wet and boggy and stuff, but just the, the oranges and ambers and greens and everything going on with it, the heather and the grasses at the minute, it's just absolutely stunning, isn't it? One of my favorite times to be out in the mountains in the autumn, as you just see the seasons start to change. came up to the style earlier on this morning and I was saying that we were going looking for diamond rocks. Well that's all this band of rock here uh, on the side of Nagalock. Um, so it gives you kind of perspective where we were this morning. So we came down this week, green patch, uh, and went up to the summit of Nagalock and on round the tops there. Um, we are let me get you in the right place. Coming over to Hare's Gap. So, coming down off Hare's Gap, we couldn't decide which way to go either to follow the wee path along and then drop down, or to take the direct route down. Um, Sam opted for the, the direct route down, so it's on him, but there's two ladies over here who left at the same time as us, and they took the path, so it'll be interesting to see who gets down quicker, which way's the quickest. Um, I think Sam's determined to win this one. No matter how many times you come down this way, you never take the same path. Never take the same path twice. Um, it, I don't know what it is. It's just so hard to, to navigate on a path down through here that you can't stick to the same one. So if you've been down through here and you have done the same path twice, exactly the same path twice, let me know in the comments below, because I don't believe you. How does it feel to win that race, mate? It's great whenever you're the only one who knows you're in the race. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you take the, the high road, um, definitely a bit slower than coming the direct route straight down, but a lot harder on the knees that way. Just take your time. If you like the series, guys, uh, make sure you go find us on Instagram. Uh, you can see some of the nice pics that we take while 
I'm out on these um, mountain days and hopefully see a bit more of the views than you can through the camera here. So yeah, head over to our Instagram, check out some of the, the pics and make sure you follow along. Number two done, Sleep Comeda. Uh, hopefully you liked the wee video. Unfortunately the views just didn't open up there. Um, but it's still a beautiful walk all the same. Hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Number three, we are out doing Ergel over in Donegal. 